Hello again guys, so today I'm going to be doing another creative icebreaker. This is of one of my favourite, favourite techniques. It's basically shaving foam marbling and it has a lovely effect. I've recently done um, a couple of techniques for it and or a couple of sessions on it I should say and I've got nice results from it. This is basically what they look like when it's dried. I've just punched it out from watercolour paper. Actually this one of them is actually just normal thicker printing paper basically kind of like card. It's quite thin actually maybe it's not card maybe it's just normal paper but these are watercolour papers and it just gives a really nice effect. Rather than just popping the paper straight onto it I kind of take a stick and kind of pick up the paint and the shaving foam and just kind of swirl it on so I'll just show you how I do that. This is a, basically a, a brush, <laughs> end of a brush, but any stick will do really and this is a hair stick. <laughs> you could probably use one of them as well. But yeah I'll show you how I do that. I might have a go on different papers and see how well I go on with them. I might try on vellum and I might try in one of my journals just to see how it how it hold so we'll see whether I can use it in my actual art journal so I'll show you how I do it. I've chosen some colours I might try do both acrylics and watercolours I tried those were the watercolours that I tried before I'm going to try with some acrylics I've basically watered it down so these are some lovely um, neon but they kind of like they're very light neon which they've kind of got like a lovely kind of pastel kind of neon colour going on there. Um, they are the Americana Deco Art, well, Deco Art Americana Neon Lights and they're very difficult to get in England. I, have to say, I had to get that shipped over from America. So I've watered, watered all this down already because I didn't want to do that on camera because yeah a bit boring. So I'll show you what I do. So I've also got these, these are basically takeaway containers you can get them at Tesco I got them at Tesco and this is what I use to um, put the shaving foam in because if you put it on just well you need something you need a container basically to put it on it's better if you have a, like a you can get like a, maybe a tray or a dish or something but then you don't want to stain them you know or use them for food as well so um, I don't use these for anything apart from art basically. So I've got some Gillette. Ooh, look at the I can tell I've been using this. I've got more. You can use what else can you use? You can use I did have some. Some when I first did this technique I used hair foam because that's all I well, hair mousse should I say. I used hair mousse because that was all I had. Um, I did it as part of um, Deli Belly's birthday bash. One of them at either last year's or the year before, I really can't remember. But this is where I picked up this technique and I really, and I've loved it since. It's one of my faves. And if I'm having basically a creative block, then I um, this is what I tend to do. I use the, the mousse the first time and th the last lot I use this. This is a bit of a thicker consistency whereas this is more lighter so you might actually get a bit more bubbles with these ones so maybe I'll try a bit of both and see which one's better. You can do your hair at the same time and you can do your shaving. I won't though because yeah I've already showered today. So I'm probably not shaking it enough. That, that looks like I'm gonna have to probably start again. That looks like yeah that looks like cottage cheese. I'm gonna start again. I've got a new one. Give it a good shake. That's better. So I'm going to get me pipette and I'm going to start dropping the colour in. Right, now let's see the magic happen. So I'm going to get me stick and I'm going to stir. Not too much because I don't want the colours to blend together and make mud. And then I'm just going to take my stick and I'm going to twirl it. Let's twirl. Twirl, twirly, twirly. I 
so you kind of do have to make sure that you've got enough like water to paint ratio if it's too watery then the colors won't exactly get picked up as much I think with them um, I used the PH Martins watercolors before and they they were so vivid and it was so nice so pretty I'm not picking up much blue I don't think I've got enough consistency white's kind of turned a bit pink just a few more twirlies and I might leave it to dry and then I'll have a go with the watercolors because I like the watercolors I think I'm gonna try with the the hair mousse as well, see if that works. See, this looks a bit more like, a bit thicker than that one. So this might get a bit airy, it might, it might kind of go down a bit quicker, but we'll see, let's see which one works. Right, what colours do I want? Oh man, I forgot to put gloves on. Damn it. I'm gonna have to go to work with blue hands. over there to dry and I'll try with a bit of Gillette. Right, what colour am I going to do with that one? Probably vellum doesn't really like wet things, so it tends to curl, so you need to put stuff down. Right, let's have a go. because um, vellum doesn't really like water so leave it for a little bit and then I'll scrape off the foam.
was me getting a little bit disappointed that it didn't work as well. But actually that looks really, really cool. No, that's not too bad now that it's kind of got it off a little bit. Maybe I should leave it on for a little bit longer. See what it looks like when it's dry. So you don't work when I put you in the foam, but you work when I spill you all over the bloody table. Thank you very much. Thank you for sheeting yourself everywhere. Chopping thing. I'm going to try in one of my journals now. This is a brand new one. The Jane Daphne Paul. It's watercolour one. So hopefully it should take very well. It, it's still cold pressed. So um, yeah, I prefer the hot press to be honest because you can work a little bit longer on it whereas the cold press kind of the watercolours sink into the paper a bit more and it's a bit bumpier as well whereas the hot press is a lot smoother and easier to work with right what colours am I going to do this time Rape this bad boy. So I kind of guess it like this really cool effect. Like you've already started a page. The only downside is that it does smell. It smells like shaving cream, which isn't a bad smell, but you know, might make you feel guilty if not shaved legs in a while. But yeah, that's cool, cool effect. I really like it. So yeah, that's what it looks like when it's in a journal and it does work really well actually. Gives it a nice like beginning so you could probably like if you want if you wanted to mute the colours even more just slap a bit of gesso on it or just put any decorate put stamps on it that kind of thing just to get you started. That looks looks really cool. I really like that. I love this deck. Yeah, so I'll show you the um, finished bits when they've all dried. I'm going to go have some luncheon. I'll see you in a bit. So these are what they look like when they're all dried. And they're so yummy. Look at the pretty marble effect going on here. The swirls and oh, it's so nice. Actually, I really like that one. I thought that was this was going to turn out like really crap, but actually it looks really, really nice. The colours, colours, yeah, and that's how they turned out. Loving the, this effect, it just looks so, so nice. And that is what it looks like in my journal. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it gives you a couple of ideas on what you can do in your journals or just basically to get you going. As I said, I could do this all day. I really could. It just it's just so fun and freeing and probably would be easier if you had like the right size tray where you can just like dab it down but actually I like it like this I like the twirly thing going on here that was the one with the acrylic paints it really didn't turn out well at all although if I punched it if I did a few punches it might look nice Maybe where we got the swirls going on here. But yeah, I think next time I try it, I might make them, might do the, the paints a bit thicker rather than water them down too much. And that was with the hair foam, but I don't think this worked as well. I think it just kind of smeared it 
because it's it's probably a bit more watery. It looks okay in areas, but yeah, it's not it's not really just like a big blue smear. Yeah, I probably I'll probably just punch these out as well and use them for for prompts or just normal die cuts. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um and I will see you soon.